Hey, Ms. Alexa. I'm going into eighth grade. <laughs> uh, my favorite fast food is In N Out. My favorite color is black. Uh, my favorite Fitz memory is when Louis said, You want some queso? And then Angel said, I guess so. My name is Andrea. What grade are you going into? I'm going into eighth grade. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is Mexican food. Do you have a favorite singer or rapper? Um, I have a lot of favorite rappers. Um, I like listening to like old school and yeah, I like, I don't know, I just like a lot of rappers, too many to name. What is your favorite movie or TV show? Um, my favorite movie is Mac and Devin Go to High School and my favorite TV show the Walking Dead. What is your favorite fun? What is your favorite fun in the sun memory? My favorite fun in the sun memory was probably just all last year because I I don't know I just enjoyed it and last year it was just great because I met a lot of new people and I met my new most of my closest one of my closest friends that I have. What is your name? My name is Angel. What grade are you going into? I am going into eighth grade. What is your favorite food? Um, I pretty much like all food in general, except for pickles. I don't like pickles. What is, what is your favorite singer or rapper? Well, basically all what I listen to is like Logic songs, so Logic. I recommend. What is your, what is your favorite TV show slash movie? Um... I kind of, I really like the show 13 Reasons Why, season two. Movie? Very sad. But, and movie, uh, I like trolls. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Brittany. What grade are you going into? Eighth grade. What is your favorite food? Chinese food. Do you have any favorite singers or rappers? Um... I like XXX and Hey Kyoko. Do you have any favorite movies or TV shows? Mm, I like the show Marlin. What is your favorite fun in the sun memory? I uh, going surfing two years ago. Thank you. What is your name? My name is Diego. What grade are you going into? I'm going into college. Actually, I'm going into seventh grade. What's your favorite food? Um, I don't know. I like a lot of food. Do you have a favorite singer or rapper? I like a lot of rappers, but my top five are Kendrick Lamar. The, it doesn't matter what order. The Weeknd. Um, I also like Little Uzi. And yeah, there's more. What is your favorite movie or TV show? My favorite movie is either Black Panther or Spider-Man 2, or, and then my favorite TV show is Stranger Things. What is your favorite Fun in the Sun memory? Uh, my favorite Fun in the Sun memory was last year going surfing. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Marilyn. What, what grade are you going into? Um, I'm going into eighth grade. Favorite, what's your favorite fast food? My favorite fast food is Habit. What is your favorite color? Okay. My favorite color is purple. <laughs> you just said color. <laughs> um, what's your favorite bits of memory? Okay. Um, I don't really have a favorite memory. Same. Okay. Ms. Roxanne Carla. I like a lot of colors. I guess so. <laughs> oh no. Eighth. What is your name? My name is Shakti. What grade are you going into? I'm going into eighth. What's your favorite food? My favorite food is enchiladas. Do you have a favorite singer or rapper? Um, my favorite singer is Ariana Grande. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is It. What is your favorite fun in the sun memory? My favorite fun in the sun memory is going to Lake Casitas. My name is Diego. I like to play sports. And my favorite, two, my 
two top sports are basketball and soccer. What teams do you go for? Um, for basketball, Lakers, and then for soccer, I go for Mexico. Football, the Raiders. That's about it. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. It's Angel. I like cupcakes. Do you like cupcakes? I like cupcakes. Reading Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Reading Plus. <laughs> Reading Plus is this kind of not so fun program where you have to read and get points. And then you take tests. I don't watch soccer, so I'm just going with the Raiders. <laughs> I'm sorry to everybody getting offended. <laughs> Don't get butt hurt. <laughs> yeah, everything's cool, guys. I go home. I eat, because obviously. I go to sleep. I go on my phone. I shower. I go to sleep. Uh, oh, I got a book. It's called Coraline. I already saw the movie, but I wanted to get the book. Coraline? Or Car Coraline. It's not Coraline. Caroline. It's Coral. It's Charlotte. Are you trying to fight? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's Coraline. It's Coraline. You can even ask the Congress and they'll tell you it's Coraline. Uh, what's that? I have fingers. In my personal opinion, I think fun in the sun is cool. No way. Ooh. 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 Awesome. Great job, Diego. Fun in the sun is amazing. <laughs> lunch brunch is nice and okay. <laughs> um, fun in the sun is good. Fun in the sun is all right. <laughs> Fun in the sun is, huh? <laughs> what? What? You said what? Yeah. <laughs> Lunch bench is just inspiring. There are caring people at Fun in the Sun. Fun in the Sun is really fun.
Hello, my name is Diego from TV Santa Barbara, and I'm going to be welcoming one of our guests, Miss B. She is the director from Fun in the Sun, and she we are going to be talking about Lunch Bunch. So what is Lunch Bunch exactly? So Fun in the Sun is run by United Way, and we have a program at each of our sites called Lunch Bunch, in which local professionals will come and have lunch with the campers. And then we play, just as if we were at recess. What does Lunch Bunch mean to you? Lunch Bunch means a lot to me. It's actually my my favorite part of each day because you see people dressed in, in full three-piece suits playing dodgeball, and you get to see people who don't have an opportunity to just be a kid often. What do you like most about Lunch Bunch? Like? I like wall ball, I think, the most about Lunch Bunch because... The kids do a great job of integrating these professionals into, um, into whatever they're playing, and wall ball is very popular. What is your favorite Lunch Bunch memory you've had? I think my favorite Lunch Bunch memory came during our first Lunch Bunch with Wells Fargo. There was a gentleman who came, and he was uh, self-proclaimed the king of Foursquare, in which he proceeded to to annihilate everyone, kids included, uh, and was reigning champ for quite some time during that recess period. What is your favorite lunch bunch food, or has like have they like brought any food? Um, so we eat the meals that are provided for um, for free through Santa Barbara Unified School District, and they're actually really delicious. My favorite is tacos. Mm. Do you need any more lunch bunch like? Professionals to come to your We program? do. We most certainly do. Yeah, it's a time commitment of just one hour, um, and you can sign up uh, any day of the week. We are, we're open uh, Monday through Friday, and it's from 12.15 to 1.15. Well, thank you all for um, watching, and I want to thank Ms. B for co coming here and talking about Lunch Bunch, and yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome back to TV Santa Barbara. I am here with... My name is Andrea. And today we're going to be talking about the Lunch Bunch program. What is Lunch Bunch? Um, lunch Bunch is people who volunteer their time to come spend um, time with us kids and play games with us and interact with us. And they just, um, overall, they, they, like to, they, spend, they volunteer their time to come spend time with campers at Fun in the Sun. And just play and do activities with them. Um, what does Lunch Bunch mean to you? Um, lunch Bunch to me means they just, um, like, it, I, feel, I believe it, um, it helps <laughs> kids. It's very helpful and it, it makes kids feel more important because they, knowing that they get to spend time with adults because they might, they might not have that time that spent that they might not have that time I'm like with their parents or with others <laughs> uh -huh. and I believe it's just it helps kids it helps kids um <laughs> what to say <laughs> um, what do you like about lunch bunch uh, to me I like lunch I like how um it's at lunch and they get to sit with you and eat with you and just talk to you and you get to like introduce yourself and since you don't really know them there's more to talk about and they just play games with you and it I feel like it helps you develop more social skills and how to interact with people better. Um, what is one of your favorite lunch bunch memories from my, your years being at Fun in the Sun? My favorite, one of my favorite lunch bunch memories I believe was when, I don't know, I've had a lot of good memories, but they were all from last year. I liked how, I like how they just come and they, whatever you want to play, they'll play with you, doesn't matter. And they'll just stick around and talk to you. Okay, well, thank you, Andrea, for talking about Lunch Bunch with us. Um, thank you and goodbye. <laughs> Welcome to TV Santa Barbara. Today I have a special guest, Diego, who is part of Fun in the Sun through United Way. Hi, Diego. How are you doing today? I am doing good today. Yeah? So how do you like Fun in the Sun? I like Fun in the Sun. 
Probably one of my favorite field trips is uh, surfing. I went last year, Surf Happens. Oh, way cool. How long have you been coming to the program? Um, I think I went to El Camino before Harding, so I think for like about four years, and then to this year is going to be about five. Yeah. What does the Fun in the Sun program mean to you? Um, fun. It's fun, and you get to learn. All right. What was your favorite thing that you've learned so far? Favorite thing I've learned? I actually don't know. You don't know? But we do a lot of reading. A lot of reading. Yeah. Would you say that over the years your reading has improved? Yeah. Yeah? I think so. Well, what grade are you in, Diego? I am going into seventh grade. Seventh grade. Do you have any fears about that? Are you excited? Uh, no, I'm pretty excited to go to seventh grade. Yeah? And what school do you go to normally? Um, before I used to go to Hollister School. Now I'm going to La Colina. Oh, La Colina. I hear that's a great school. I also hear that you love sports. Is this true? Yes, it is true. What's your favorite sport? My favorite sport is basketball and soccer. Basketball. And what positions do you play? For basketball, I play um, point guard and shooting guard. Um, point guard is basically where you run up the ball, like you're, like you're going up the court. And then shooting guard is someone who can shoot. And then for soccer, I am a striker. Mm. What position do you think you're strongest in, in which sport? What position? I do really like point guard, but I also like shooting guard. I'm, I'm in the middle for that one. But for soccer, I know I'm a striker. So do you play soccer or basketball at Fun in the Sun when you're there? Um, I play soccer. The only thing is uh, hurting the courts a little too small, mm. so that's why. Yeah. Why do you think sports is so meaningful for you? When did that? I don't know. I just really like playing like te with like teams and all that. And when did that passion okay. start? Um, when I was little, I played my first ever sport I played was at the YMCA um, baseball. But then I started playing soccer at the Boys and Girls Club and then basketball. Gotcha. Well, I have a random question for you. What's your favorite smell and why? My favorite smell? I actually don't know. <laughs> You don't know? You don't have a smell that just, you smell it and you're like, ooh, that smells so good. Maybe deodorant? I don't know. Deodorant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've actually asked a lot of people that question. And a lot of people will say cut grass or laundry. My favorite, actually, oh, yeah, is, is the like exhaust that comes out of the laundry. You know, when you pass somebody's house and they're, they're doing laundry, that's my favorite smell. All right, well, that's all we have today. Thank you, Diego, for coming and tuning in to TV Santa Barbara. Da, da, da. Welcome to Waking Up with Shakti. Today I have a special guest, Andrea. Hi, Shakti. Um, thank you for having me here on your show. You're welcome. So let's get into it. So, what's your favorite sport? Um, I have I, I play a lot of different sports. I personally like soccer is my favorite, but I also play football and I I don't know if you want to count dance as a sport. And I also do a lot of running. Yeah. That's good. Keeping yourself healthy. So let's talk more about soccer. Did you watch the World Cup? Yeah, I watched um, the most of it, but after Mexico like lost, I kind of lost interest. But I was like still, you know, I was still um, watching it. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. How'd you feel about Mexico losing? <laughs> you know, I was, um, I was sad and I disappointed. And I, I was crying and throwing a big fit, but it was, it was okay because he still got another four years. Has Mexico ever won the World Cup? I believe they have. I don't remember when, but they have, yeah. So, well, let's move on to a different subject. Let's talk about politics. So, how do you feel about our president? Um, I feel that our president is very racist and he, he just isn't, he doesn't have the right mindset to be a president. I feel people only voted for him because of his money and he doesn't necessarily know what to do. 
how to use it. He doesn't know. Yeah, like I said, he doesn't have the mindset to be a president. Like he's just so like he's so like stereo. He stereotypes a lot, and it hurts because he racial profiles people, and when some people are just they're not bad people. They just come to America. They come to the United States to have a better life. Okay, so how did you feel about our previous president? Barack Obama, he, he was a good guy. Um, I feel that he, well, he did have the correct mindset. He was making things happen. Like that when Donald Trump took away the DACA from the kids, well, he, he, like, it, just, it, was, it was messed up because he had no right to do that. And like when they were like fighting for it, when they were, what was it, I forgot what it was called, what's called, but like when, um, but yeah, that, and when Barack Obama, Obama gave them the um, Zaka, I believe that that was, that was because he wanted kids to have a better life. He wanted to help them because he knew that they weren't bad people. Whereas like Donald Trump, he. He just takes it away because he stereotypes and he racial profiles, and he doesn't necessarily know what they came for. He just he assumes and he doesn't when he doesn't know. That's pretty strong feeling. <laughs> <laughs> um. Who was your favorite president? Barack Obama. Yeah, <clears throat> Barack Obama because he he's a good guy and he res he respects everyone. How did you feel about like when he left the White House? I was I was scared on the po on the day when they were voting for our presidents. I prayed and I prayed and I prayed that Donald Trump wouldn't win. But the next day I woke up and I found out that he won it. I, I went, I was devastated. I was sad. Like, I had no words. I was quiet. Like, my eyes were puffy in the morning because of how much I was crying. It was not good. It's just, I, I feel so strongly about this topic because of what has happened in the past to me and because of what like because of how like badly he treats um immigrants like it's just not right because he doesn't he just he doesn't know how to respect people like how can you have respect for people when you can't even respect yourself like it's like it's common sense like he just doesn't he needs to gain respect for himself before he can start respecting other people and how and how much they risk to get over to try and come over here to live a better life. So who did you want to win instead of President Donald Trump? Hillary Clinton because I feel like it would have been really great because that would have been the first female president. It would, have, it would have changed a lot. Well, thank you for coming here. <laughs> thank <laughs> and you for having me. Yeah. Goodbye. Hello, my name is Diego, and welcome to the Diego Show. We have a very special guest today, Kyle. Okay. So, what is your dream in life? Uh, like, my dream in life is to work for Apple. But oh. if I don't work for Apple, I will uh, stay at TV Santa Barbara. How is it like being at TV Santa Barbara? You know, it's, it's really fun. I encourage all of you to come back and intern and then maybe work here someday. Okay. Um, do you play any sports? Um, yeah, uh, in high school I ran cross country, varsity, and played varsity volleyball. Um, what are your favorite teams? Like, do you have any favorite teams? Um, for basketball, uh, Lakers, definitely. I've been a Lakers fan since I was born, since I could talk. Uh, and same with Dodgers, just all the Los Angeles teams. Yeah, same thing with me. Nice. Um, 
I have one question. Do you own Kyle's Kitchen or do you are you like aligned with Kyle, Kyle's Kitchen? Well, maybe, but if I told you, then I mean, we'd have to stop filming. If you if you told me, then could you hook me up with some Kyle's Kitchen? I guess. Um, no, I I only have one coupon. Oh, okay. Well, thank you all for coming here to the um, Diego show, and I'd like to thank. Kyle for coming and please come back for the next episode of the Diego show hello and welcome back to the show I'm here today with Diego yeah that's what's up. Uh, so, Diego, um, how long have you been doing uh, Fun in the Sun? Um, I think I started since third or second grade. I'm not sure. I think I, but I really do like it. I really recommend it. Recommend it. Nice. And you going into eighth grade now? So. No, I'm going actually into seventh. Grade. Oh, you're going into seventh grade. Okay. Wow. It's still a long time. Yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite activities? Um, for me, I like sports. I like to play basketball and soccer. Those are my two favorite sports. Basketball and soccer. I know you said that you like the Lakers. Do you have a favorite soccer team? Um, soccer team international um, is Mexico, and then national is Barcelona. Nice, nice. So you're probably a little bit disappointed about that World Cup. Right yeah, now. I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. It was exciting, though. Yeah. So um, what do you think about uh, learning all this camera stuff at TV Santa Barbara? Um, really fun. I do like it. You like it? Yeah. Any highlights, favorite parts you want to share? Um, I like the talk show we're doing right now. And yeah, I like the bios we did. Nice, nice. Um, yeah. Okay. Is there any, anything else you want to add? Um, there is this free promo right now, TV Santa Barbara. They got you hooked. One seven seven one. At what time? What time do they show it at? Um, twenty four seven. Twenty four seven, guys. So there you go. Hop on right now, or actually watch us right now at TV Santa Barbara. Yeah, one, one, assuming you're not already watching us right now. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, thanks for tuning in. Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to TV Santa Barbara. Today I have a wonderful guest with me, Andrea, who is a Fun in the Sun participant. So, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I am going into eighth grade and I, um, I have been with Fun in the Sun, I believe this is my fourth year. And um, yeah, I'm in, yeah, I'm going into eighth grade. Your fourth year, wow, that's a long time to be with the program. What is your favorite part about Fun in the Sun? My favorite part about Fun in the Sun is um, getting to know new people and making new friends and like seeing them every summer. Yeah. yeah. Who's your best friend at Fun in the Sun? Probably Jasmine. Yeah? Jasmine. Mm -hmm. Why are you guys such good friends? Cause we, we, we went to school together and I just think that um, it... Like spending the time together at, during summer with like no other people that you know is like it helps more. It's yeah. Really fun. Right on. If you could change Fun in the Sun for the junior high program, what changes would you make? Um, well, last year we would used to get we used to get out early like at three thirty, and now we get out an hour later. I believe that that would have been better if we stayed the same time. And um, if we ha if um, there wasn't. I don't know if we just had the field trip that we had from last year. Like this year, we didn't go to um, the Girl Scouts field trip. Oh. Yeah, a lot of people like that. What are what were some of the other field trips that you went on? Um, we also went to the park for our for our. Um, I forgot what it was called. It was a project that we had to do for the end of um, Fun in the Sun to show at like the Pollock. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right on. If you had a million dollars 
and you could create any program you wanted for Fun in the Sun, what would you have them do? A million dollars for what, just one summer. Um, I would take the kids to Disneyland. Disneyland. All right, what else? Um, and I would, I don't know, we'd just take them on field trips and we'd go to a lot of fun places and I don't know, more, more, um, it'd be a bigger spot mm. that wasn't like, like a, a bigger campus, a bigger site. Yeah. Right on. So what do you want to do when you grow up? When I grow up, I, as a little kid, I've always wanted to become someone famous. Yeah. And I don't know, like it just, it, um, I still think to, I still think about it to this day, but then like, I, like reality hits me and it's like, Andrea, come on. But if, um, I'm, I don't know, if I, if I were to like choose an actual career, I'd um, probably say I want to, I want to be an immigration lawyer. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, immigration is something, Im or rather immigration policy is something that you're pretty passionate about. Why is that? Because um, my past has to do a lot with immigration, and it's ju it just hurts seeing that they don't get that. People, a lot of people come to live a better life, and um, some people just don't see that, and they mm. take they could take um, advantage of them being immigrants and use it against them to like, not like, not, um, I don't know, they just, and it, it, it's it, it's sad. And I feel like if I were to become a lawyer, I would become, a, I would be a good one because I, I argue a lot and I don't like, like when I'm passionate about something, I don't let it like, I don't let it rest, like I get to it and I make my point and I make sure that my point is clear and I get it through. Yeah. What do you think, or how did you learn to be that way? I feel like once I, I feel like once I got to junior high, I realized that not everyone's gonna treat you the same. Not everyone's gonna always be there for you and not everyone's gonna, um, help you through things and that you have to stick up for yourself and if you believe that something's wrong that you should tell someone and that you shouldn't just be quiet and be this hidden voice that you should speak out and speak your mind and make sure that what you think is right you get through and that you should just um, be passionate about, passionate about what you um, what you like and what you believe is right and right on Wow, thank you for your vulnerability. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in to TV Santa Barbara. See you next time. Hello, everyone, and um, welcome to my talk show. I'm Andrea, and I have my special guest here, Miss B. Hi, Miss B. Um, so you work at Fun in the Sun. What made you want to become a site leader? So um, I've directed a couple of camps now, and... I really like directing because I get to go into all of the classrooms and see um, the activities that they're doing, to meet all the kids, um, and it's just a fun summer job that I really enjoy. What sites have you directed at? So this is my first year with Fun in the Sun. I ran a, a camp up in Oakland called Camp Adventure More, which was very similar, but uh, I like Fun in the Sun better. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> and... Um... How is it, what, what do you like about From the Sun? I like that it gives uh, kids opportunities to go and be a part of their communities, like right now at TV Santa Barbara, but also um, other passion pursuits is what we call them. The junior highs go on and they get to experience things at the local hospital, um, working on bikes at a, a local bike shop, all kinds of things. And the little kids too, they get to go fishing and swimming and um, they have recess every day, which they love, which I personally love. So yeah, it's a great program. What's one of the best things you've done so far here at Fun of the Sun? 
Well, my favorite thing to do at Fun in the Sun actually is recess. I love to go out there at recess with my little, with my fanny pack, with my little speaker on, um, and just jam and play wall ball and four square and and football and tag and yeah, that's that's my favorite time of every day. Any favorite field trips? I really liked fishing. I was the only one to catch a fish, you know. Um, but I enjoy going to TV Santa Barbara. That's really fun. Um, we also um, go swimming each week, and I really like that too because I actually get to go in the pool and splash around and learn stuff even. And um, uh, do you have any funny moments that you've had with the campers so far? Um, you know, I have. I've had a lot, actually. Um, a lot of them happened during wall ball, <laughs> when we're trying to, like, jump for something or uh, maneuver around people, or it's like the last two people, and it's like a big uproar when, when somebody wins unexpectedly that normally doesn't win or something. Um, me and the CITs have a lot of fun moments, too, in the office. We're, we're just constantly laughing, making jokes. Um, yeah, it's great. And, and is it any, have you had any an embarrassing moment? No? I've, I've definitely had a lot of embarrassing moments. Um, <laughs> uh, let, me, let me think of one. Um, let's see. Um, well, you mean in my life or just at Fun in the Sun? Um, well, both. Okay. Well, I once got my ris wisdom teeth removed right after I graduated high school. And I had won this prestigious scholarship award and I was going up on the stage and my, my face was just swollen. And so I decided that I would tell everyone that I was sick and I put a, a, one of those, you know, when you're sick, you put those masks on when you go to the hospital. It was like during the time of swine flu. So everyone thought I had swine flu and they didn't want to talk to me or touch me. But I remember going up there and I was still on painkillers like crazy. And I just remember saying, like, with a slurred mouth, thank you for the money. <laughs> and everyone was just looking at me like I was crazy. And I was like, I promise I'm going to use it for good. <laughs> and so that will always be one of the most embarrassing moments. And there's, like, drool coming out. It was, it was bad. And with Fun in the Sun, what's, what's been an embarrassing moment I think yesterday was pretty embarrassing. I recently was in need of some shorts, and so I went to Kmart and just bought a whole bunch of shorts with, without really properly trying them on. And so my shorts yesterday were massive. I mean, just huge shorts. I barely could like keep them up, and and I, I don't have a full-length mirror at home. So I just left. I was like, oh, these are comfy. But then when I got a chance to actually look at myself in the mirror, I was like, oh, no, boo, <laughs> what did you wear? Oh, I, I looked it terrible yesterday. So that was pretty much embarrassing, right? Those shorts were too big, right? Yeah, they were too big. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time. But like we just want to check it. It's abandoned, and like hurt and all that. We want to check if it, like it's actually haunted. Bro. Now Angel, peek your head out a little bit. We just saw a figure, bro. Oh my. Yeah.